Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators. Today on the program, I have an interesting piece that I picked up a little while ago. And uh, it's not so much the item itself, but rather what's inside. Uh, so I'll come right over here to my uh, bookshelf and I'll take this out. Now, this is not just a book. Um, this is a Masonic, a, a Masonic planner. Um, I picked this up um, a few years ago, in 2013 to be exact, from Purnell and Company, um, who you may all remember. Purnell and Company had these really cool uh, Masonic planners. Uh, they were bound and glued, and you can tell it was... Uh, done by the actual brother who, who did this. He didn't have these like, mass, I mean, I think the, the sheets were mass printed or whatever, but uh, all the binding and everything was done by him. Um, and as such, I, I treated this thing very like rough, right? So the binding kind of broke on some spots and I had to retape it, but um, if, if he's still out there, I would definitely want to get another one of these. He had a website, pernellandco.com. Uh, but what this is, it was a really neat Masonic calendar. And it was your basic planner. And you can see I have all these notes in here. And it was just kind of cool because I kept track of some of the nostalgic things, um, such as the first time I ever presented was February 13th at Pleiades Lodge in Westchester, uh, Illinois. My notes on it just said I did the colonial presentation. And I just thought that was cool. In a past episode, you can see the coin that I got that they presented me for uh, traveling and working in foreign countries, as we would say. Uh, you might notice this neat little bookmark I've got in there, uh, which is this. And this actually I found in an old copy of, my, of uh, Mackey's Encyclopedia, and it was just a card and there's nothing on the back. Uh, but in any case, I just kind of leave it in here to mark uh, my lodge visitations for 2014. Uh, I have a few that I logged in here, and this was all, you know, uh, just, I think this is the year Either I was master or the year before I became master. And it's just kind of a nostalgic thing that I think I'll keep and my kids can look at one day if any of them become Masons or my grandkids or heck if, the, if uh, you know, whoever joins and, and they're part of my family. But, you know, I've got in here second degree uh, for this gentleman. I said decent turnout on May 19th, which was a Monday. I, we used to call it Masonic Mondays. A friend of mine, Ishmael, and I used to go have breakfast together. Uh, he's another brother, and uh, then I would have a stated meeting that night. I was off on Mondays at the time, so it was kind of interesting. Uh, again, Masonic Mondays. Uh, I have another one here, Third Degree on Cinco de Mayo. Um, we were going to see if we could have it at a tavern called Greentown, which was uh, kind of a colonial-type tavern in downtown Waukegan. I had uh, the Symposium at Pleiades Lodge, 478. Uh, you know, we had just some really cool notes in here. Uh, one said Nashville, Tennessee presentation, which I did on Monday the 24th of March. I drove down with Brian Shimian, and in a previous episode of this, again, you saw me kind of showcase a receipt from the Patterson House. It says, went great, lots of masons and profane, and that was also the same day that I missed Keystone Chapter of Royal Arch Masons uh, charter signing. And I guess, you know, this isn't some amazing piece of history that's come down. This is going to be an amazing piece of history when I'm 70, 80 years old or for my grandkids or whatever. Just a little insight into, you know, maybe masonry as it was today. And so this will be a future curator's item maybe uh, for my sons or whoever. Uh, or perhaps an unrelated brother who picks it up one day and it's found and, hey, I found this old diary or uh, this old date book and it had some interesting things in here. And I wrote it all in pencil too, which will be kind of interesting. Uh, if that even holds up over the years. But it's important to log our experiences and keep track of things, if for nothing else, to preserve kind of the history, right? So this is, this is me preserving history, and maybe one day this will be a piece of preserved history, I don't know. Uh, but get yourself a diary or something. I still write in something, uh, at least weekly, and just kind of jot down notes, you know, whether how I was feeling that week, or degrees that happened, or things I was excited about. Uh, we tend to get so uh, wrapped up in the electronic age watching these videos and things like that that we're not making a hard copy record for if that ever becomes unavailable. What are we going to do? Um, so we need to send a message to the future and 
electronics aren't always going to be around. We need something hard copy. We need something tangible that we can hold and touch. So consider it. And for Masonic curators, I, ho I hope you guys all uh, like and subscribe to these videos, share them with your friends, and maybe even contribute something of your own. Until next time, we'll talk to you all later.